Alright, hey guys, so I just got back from work, and I just wanted to talk about some stuff in King's Raid. So, uh, I play on the NA server, so times are a bit different, and tonight we got a couple of things coming. Two new packages, or actually just one. Just kidding, maybe one. Let me read it again. Today's the 27th, just kidding, there's two packages, and they're gonna last until January 4th. So, uh, before we do that, I'm just gonna do this little Christmas raid, and, um... Let this run in the back. I only I did a little bit of runs already, but let's look at the thing now. Okay, so patch notes, they're a good thing to look at. By the way, they're pretty good. So uh, they're talking about some packages they have. They have this interesting uh, transcendent one package event. It costs 5,000 rubies. All you get from it is a transcendent one hero ticket. You get some potions, large, X large, deluxe. And it includes heroes up to Cassandra, Jan, and Adi. Hmm. Honestly, that's okay. <laughs> that's mediocre, honestly. Okay, the reason why I say it's mediocre is because it's 5,000 rubies. Which, obviously, for a transcendent one hero, it's way cheaper than if you were just to buy a hero. Because a hero in the shop, buying just a two, um, let's see, no, three star unit hero would already cost 6,000 so plus you have to spend material like essence fragments and whatnot to actually raise that unit up to even transcend one this in itself is already worth it but honestly I would only go for this package if you're gonna get a new hero that is for some reason not appearing in your inn that is actually the only reason in short, just use rubies on resets on dungeons and whatnot, but this is a good deal. If you were to straight up buy a new unit and you were planning to buy one at the shop, just go for this. It's way better, it's cheaper, you save a lot of time, and it's pretty good. Not bad. But, you know, as a longtime player, I see a different perspective on it where I can eventually get everyone. Just take time, just wait for it. Next thing we got is the mini unique weapon random package. Oh boy, it's this thing. So, the thing they have, they call it the mini unique weapon package, and it only includes 5 of these boxes and 500 rubies. Okay, this includes any unique weapon of a hero that was released up to the 21st update, which should be actually all of them if I remember correctly. Yeah, it should be nearly all the heroes, or all of them. The thing about this, it will cost money. It will cost real life money because it includes a unique weapon box and rubies. Just knowing there's rubies in it, it's going to cost money. Also on Reddit and the other servers, I believe, like Asian stuff, they have already stated it's around $9, $10-ish. Okay, you know, I think for... I'm going to do a guess. How much do rubies cost? Let's do a little guess. It's for fun. So... 2,000 rubies is roughly 18 bucks. This is 500 divided by 5. Wow. Well, it might be around, uh, theoretically, probably 500. Because it's going to be around that much for the rubies. And it might cost a bit more. So instead of $5, maybe add a couple dollars that make up for the unique or random boxes. Yeah. Would this be worth it though? I'm gonna say a solid no. Because it's expensive. If you're mostly going for this, this is pretty much a gamble. A random unique weapon box. If you guys know what it is, it's this. They did this a while back earlier this year. A r unique random weapon box. These are pretty much what you can get. You can get stamina, magic powder, gold, some skill books, ruins. You might get some fragments. Unique weapon fragments, I should say. But you have to have a lot of those to make a unique weapon. Or you might get a unique weapon. Ooh. The reason why I don't like this package is... There's two reasons. First reason is it's a gamble. It's not guaranteed. You can get screwed over and you still won't even get that good items. Like, you will not... They're not even putting essence in it. They're not, there's no fragments. There's no stone of infinity. I mean, if you can get that other stuff... Dude, solid package. But it's just a chance for 
a random, repeat, random unique weapon. It won't even be a unique weapon selector, it's random. You might get it for someone who doesn't even need it, or someone you're not even working on, you know? There's too much RNG in this to be worth it, so there's that. The other thing they're releasing is the Bon Random Box. You can get 10 of them. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the Bon, I don't think it was here. Yeah, it wasn't in this patch. They released one of these Bon packages a while back as well. And in this Bon thing, you can get those weird um, Bon items. There's one that gives like 10,000 Bon or um, yeah, Bon ship. What is the word? Relationship increase. Wow, that doesn't sound okay. Bond friendship increase. Whatever it's called. Yeah, you can get those and they're okay. They're not the best because usually you get screwed over, so it's a waste of money in the end. Because why do that when you can just farm raids and get them for free? Just saying. <laughs> and it. I don't know what this will cost. Maybe. I forgot what the other one cost when it was first released, but maybe rubies maybe money who knows but yeah those are the new things that are coming don't know how i feel about them also another thing is that they have a secret present um on the new year let's talk about what that present can be so this month they've given us players so much free crap like we got we're spoiled little brats, let me tell you, we got so many unique weapons, they even gave us a selector, they they got this Christmas event too, which is just amazing, and by the way, the red boxes, make sure to get those, those are the most quality things you can get, we're gonna open a couple right now, like these by far are the best, like they're so good, but um, what could they give us, you know, what do you guys think? Leave, leave in the comments below what do you think we can get. Let's open one at a time, maybe? Let's open all four, screw it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, what do you think we get? Ooh, wow, Essence, and that's pretty good. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I don't know what they could give us, honestly. For a new year present, it's a new year. Maybe a new thing that isn't in the game yet? Just kidding, that's very unlikely. For some reason, I can see them giving another random unique weapon, because it's Vespa, they're generous. So, you know, there's that. Besides that, it's really hard to see what else they can do, you know? They could straight up give us a selector, which would be absolutely ridiculous, and I would not believe that, honestly. Another thing they could do is, um... I don't know. Wow, I got two fit. Oh wait, that was from the event. I was like, wait, that's crazy. I don't know what else they can do. <laughs> Honestly, oh, this lasts six more hours. Yeah, there's that. So yeah, I honestly just think they're gonna give another random unique weapon or whatever, because that's the most RNG, and we don't get to choose, and it's still giving something that's fairly hard to get in the game. So yeah, that's what I think is gonna happen. Also. I'm gonna do one summon for you guys, just real quick, because it's gonna run out, and I'm gonna do just one, maybe two. I might do two for you guys, for sticking to the end of the video. You guys wanna see my RNG? Just see how lucky I can get? Here we go, boys. The only people I'm going for in this banner are Mediana and Artemia, because I have those already, and I don't want any of the new ones. Scarlet's a good hero. She's mostly for PvP, though, from what I've seen. I've never seen her in anywhere other content. The other two are not bad, but I just don't want to get them. I don't have time to build them, you know what I mean? So let's see what I get. You guys ready? By the way, I don't recommend doing this if you're free to play. Wait for a special event. Like, I mean, there is an event right now, to be honest, but, like, there's other events as well. Alright, let's go, guys. Can I get lucky? Will Vespa be generous? It's the end of the year. Shit. Are they serious? What? Isn't this an artifact? Are you kidding me? What is this? I haven't gotten this artifact. R Madame's Bronze Mirrors raises on M block by 300 and... Wow. That's really good. Not bad. Okay. Okay, at least I got an artifact. I also got these. I love these fragments. Bless, dude. We'll do it one more time. 
Let's see what we we can get. Oh, are you serious? Wow, I got Sonya's. She's one of the new units. Oh, I was really hoping. I'm not complaining. It's still a. Uh... All right, so I did. <laughs> Shock duration is increased by two seconds. Auto attacking an enemy inflicts. I don't want to get her. She would be good for a magic team, I guess. I'm going to go check her real quick. By the way, the these new type of videos I'm going to be doing for King's Raid, it's just me doing whatever, honestly. I talk about stuff and then I kind of ramble on doing whatever. So Sonya is the person I got. Honestly... She looks mediocre. She looks like a paste on character. <laughs> She's fine though. Dealing for an M team, which I do have an N team. Oh, consumes 20. Oh, it's just for her though. Rip. Eh. Not bad. I can work with her, but I don't want to get her now. I'll wait until she comes into my inn and then it will be like, all right, here we go. Okay, not bad. We'll do a free summon ticket as well. Unfortunate. I mean, not unfortunate. There is no way I was going to get the one I wanted, so yeah. I think that's it for today's video. I don't know if I'll do any of the other packages that are coming tonight. Because I know they're going to be expensive. Not ex Well, yeah, they're going to be expensive. They're going to be pricey, and you're going to probably be rewarded with nothing. I may be a little lucky a lot on these summonings and stuff, but... I don't think it's worth it, you know what I mean? So yeah. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this random video. Just me talking about the stuff, what I think about it. And... Oh! One last thing. Streaming schedule. I'm still debating. I'll probably make another separate video to make sure everyone knows about it. But for streaming... I am thinking... Since I get off work at 3, I could start at 3.30 for a stream. And start going on from there. So... I don't know how long though, but probably start at 3.30 or maybe even later so I can make it to the challenge arena. I didn't do the challenge arena yesterday though. So this one, it's the ban to League of um, Honor. Glory, Honor, Glo Honor. Did I drop? Holy crap, I dropped rank 17, unlucky. Alright, yeah. I didn't do it yesterday. But yeah, there you go. We'll start doing a bunch more, more of that stuff. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully... Vespa gives us something good for New Year's because I could always use some good stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya.